Erica from Inside Out Equine Health. Today I'm going to talk about hay. So people like to talk about premium quality hay. Um, to me, premium quality hay is hay that is clean, dust free and mould free. Aside from that, all hay has a place in the equine diet and is not necessarily, one is necessarily premium quality over the other. Premium quality hay is the hay that is right for your horse. So let's talk about a few hays that we've got here. So let's start off with the really obvious one. So we've got your lucerne hay, which is really, really high in protein and calcium, really, really high in calories and really, really palatable. Um, so all horses love the taste of lucerne, well, all that I've come across. So very, very easy to get them to eat it, but certainly not appropriate to be the only form of roughage in the equine diet. It's just too high in protein and calcium and sets the whole diet out of whack. However, it's really low in non-structural carbohydrates. Uh, so perfect for insulin resistant horses or even laminitic horses to have a little bit of it to get their calcium and protein contents. And as you can see, very, very palatable even to uh, the fussy thoroughbred. Um, and as you can see, this is a very, very grassy lucerne, very, very, um, lots of leaves and hardly any stalks. So this is really, really high in um, calories. And um, to, to get rid of these calories, you would have to shake off all the leaves like this, um, leaving the stalks, or you could of course soak it as well and get rid of the water that it is soaking in. We'll go to the other end of the spectrum now. So this is a native grass hay. This is Rhodes hay. Um, really, really low in calories, sugar, protein, everything like that, but a, a fantastic source of roughage. Um, and if you've got a horse locked up, if you've got a laminitic horse, if you've got a, a really, really overweight horse, this is the perfect thing to feed it. Horses need between one and a half and two and a half percent of their body weight in roughage every single day. So for a 500 kilo horse, that's about 10 kilos of hay each day or food a day. Um, so if you've got a lucked up horse and they need to eat 10 kilos of, of hay, this is the perfect stuff for it. Um, and it's very, very clean. Um, Okay, we've got a rye here, so a fairly green rye. Again, um, depending on the horse and its needs, this could be appropriate. It's got a tiny little bit of clover in it to make it a little bit tastier. Um, but again, this is a fairly um, standard rye and it would be impossible to tell its sugar content without doing a hay test. And then up here, we have a bit of a mixed hay. Now, um, this was purchased, purchased as a grass hay. However, you can see that it very obviously has oat and hay, and in fact, the whole oat still in it. So if you've got a horse that has issues with sugar, so if you've got an insulin resistant horse, a horse that, even a horse that ties up, this kind of hay is not going to be appropriate. Yes, your grass here is okay, but it's got quite a lot of oat and hay in it. Um, so again, I, I wouldn't be um, providing too many horses with this as their major source of roughage but a biscuit here or there no problems at all so as you can see the type of hay that is, is, is premium really depends on your horse and your horse's needs. Um, but if you, and look, I'd encourage everyone to, to feed their horse hay. It's a fantastic addition, even in spring. Um, you know, if you can get your horse to eat a whole lot of this in spring, you really sorted. Um, it helps their gut and all that kind of thing. So just a small variety of the hays that are on option.